What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV. And in this video, I'm gonna be comparing the uh, camera quality of the iPhone 6 to the Samsung Galaxy S6. Now we'll be looking at both the front and rear facing cameras and our images as well as video too. And do also look out for the audio icon in the corner of the screen and that will indicate to you which device the audio is coming from too. So we are currently sort of outdoors, kind of in my car, so indoors slash outdoors, and we're testing out the front facing cameras on both devices. And what we'll be doing is heading outdoors and testing out the rear facing cameras, and then we'll go indoors and test out some low light shots too. So do hit that thumbs up button, uh, let's get straight to it. So we're now outdoors with both devices. We're filming at 1080p. The S6 can film up to 4K, but we'll check that out in a second. Just checking the stabilization here. So just taking a bit of a walk with both devices, handheld. Now you do have optical image stabilization on the S6. On the iPhone 6, it is only digital. So this is the sort of quality difference that you can expect. Now we're filming at full 4K on the S6 and we are at 1080p at the max, which is on the iPhone 6. So this is just to show you uh, the difference in quality. This does mean we can crop in into the 4K when exported at 1080p. So now we're indoors with the Samsung Galaxy S6 in relatively low light and just testing out the autofocus. So going from one place to another seems to be doing a pretty good job. Now same lighting on the iPhone 6 and we are just testing out the autofocus once again. It also seems to be doing pretty well from going from the background to the foreground. Now just a quick test side by side so you can see the low light performance and auto focusing side by side. The picture does seem brighter on the S6 and the autofocus seems to be a little bit quicker on the iPhone 6 so that's just interesting to see. So that was the video now let's have a look at some images. Now we're going to do this in the usual Super Saf TV style where I'm not going to reveal which image has come from which device initially and I'll let you decide which you like better and then we will do the reveal. This way there's no bias in terms of your preferred brand. So initially starting off with some selfies. We've got some selfies in my car. Thought I'd change it up a little bit. Now straight away I think the right hand side image is doing much better here. It's a lot sharper. And the colors are a little bit on the vibrant side, but it definitely is a lot sharper, which I really do like. That's of the S6 and we've got the iPhone 6 on the left hand side. Now, another thing to bear in mind is that the iPhone 6 has a 1.2 megapixel front facing camera. The S6 has a 5 megapixel front facing camera. Now, this means you can crop in much further on the S6 than you can do on the iPhone 6. So just something to bear in mind. Now moving on to a low light selfie. This is something that a lot of you have asked for. Now I like the colors better on the left hand side, but the right hand side image is a little sharper. So uh, it looks like there's some software magic happening on the left hand side image, which is of the S6. And we've got the iPhone 6 on the right hand side. So this is interesting. I'll let you guys decide which you like better here. And moving on to some outdoor images. So we've got some flowers here. I think both are doing a good job. You've got some differences in sharpness and colors. I personally do prefer the sharpness and colors on the right hand side image. That's off the S6. We've got the iPhone 6 on the left hand side. Now you do have an 8 megapixel camera on the iPhone 6. On the S6, it's a 16 megapixel rear facing camera. Now this also means you can crop in much further on the S6 than you can do on the iPhone 6. These are both images at 100% and the amount of detail that you've got on both images is absolutely great but the edge does go to the S6 because of that high resolution. Now moving on to an outdoor wide image so both are doing a decent job but I do prefer the contrast and sharpness on the left hand side image. The right hand side image is not so bad, but it just seems a little bit washed out. We've got the S6 on the left hand side, the iPhone 6 on the right hand side. Now moving on to an image in good light indoors. I think both are pretty much the same here. They're both doing a, a good job. I can't really see much of a difference. We've got the S6 on the left hand side and the iPhone 6 on the right hand side. I'm going to call this one a draw. Now moving on to low light shots. So these are in relatively low light indoors. I personally prefer the right hand side image a little bit more. I think you've got a little bit more contrast and the colors are a little bit better on here. That's off the S6. We've got the iPhone 6 on the left hand side. And finally, an image with flash. I personally prefer the right hand side image more here because I think the colors are a little bit better. If you look at the table, you can see the colors have been maintained a little bit better, whereas they're a little bit washed out on the left hand side image. We've got the iPhone 6 on the right hand side, whereas we've got the S6 on the left hand side. 
So there we have it, the camera comparison. Now, overall, I think both are doing a good job. I would give the overall edge to the S6. You've got optical image stabilization, which definitely does help in terms of that video. You've also got 4K video and that high resolution with some more sharpness. Now, the S6 is newer. It's six months newer compared to the iPhone 6. So some of these things are expected and no doubt we will do another camera comparison with the iPhone 6S when that's out to the Samsung Galaxy S6. So make sure you are subscribed to see that in a few months time. This is what I think anyway. What do you think? Do drop me a comment below and let me know your thoughts. If you do want to see lots of images from lots of different devices, I post quite a few on my Instagram, which is at SuperSaf TV. So do go ahead and give me a follow on there. You will see lots of images daily. So that way you can see what some of these other new cameras are like. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. These camera comparisons take a lot of time to do. So a thumbs up would be appreciated. And we've got lots more videos with the S6 and the S6 Edge coming up. So be sure to subscribe if you have not already. Thanks for watching. This is Safa on Super Saf TV, and I'll see you next time. If you want to see more regular videos like this one, then be sure to hit the subscribe button, which will be below. If you're on a mobile device, it may be somewhere else. If you want to see my previous related video, then hit the link right here. If you want to stay in touch over Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, then all of the addresses will be there somewhere, as well as direct links in the description below. Okay, if you're still watching, then that means you've not done one of those things, so... No. Anyway, um, I'm just, I'm just gonna go um, downstairs. See. Okay. Um, th there isn't really a downstairs. Anyway. Uh, so yeah.